is finally happened, everyone. We have found the test pitch for Chris Farley's version of Shrek. And I'm going to play it right up here. No audio, of course. But I will link the video to the guy who uploaded it down below. Because, you know, obviously, you got to give credit where credit's due. Also, I don't want to just be a person to re-upload the video. A lot of people are doing that. I don't want to. But I do want to discuss something with you. I want to see how significant is this? Because this is a pretty significant discovery in the lost media community. This has been something we've been searching for for a long time. Just to see Chris Varley's version of Shrek. The only problem is it's a test pilot. I mean, yeah, like a pilot pitch. But I actually, I watched a lost media video about some point. I forgot who it was. I'll, I'll write it down, uh, down below here, uh, who made it. And then I'll link his video. But, uh, he said, Hey, you know, what is lost media? And the consideration was, you know, lost media is media that's lost from the public. But technically it said that the Shrek pitch that I'm showing right now, well, that's not actually lost media because lost media was meant for the public, but the public wasn't actually meant to see this. So it's, it's a little stingy, but we still have it. And that's the part that counts. And I think, I think it looks good. Now, here's some things that I'm glad no one's talking about. I've yet to see anyone talk about this. I think after a long time of consideration when those first uh, couple of animation bits came out and when I made that first video, people were talking about it. Chris Farley's voice is not in it. So, which, after I was told that, I actually started to expect it a bit. Chris Farley was probably not going to use his voice just for an animation pitch. He... There is a storyboard out of Chris Farley's Shrek where it's that scene where uh, Shrek and Donkey are talking about the swamp uh, by the bo- by the bonfire. And uh, that, that storyboard revealed, but it was Chris Farley's Shrek. But that's probably the only thing we'd get so far because the test animation does have voices except for the singing of the song I feel good but they're probably not going to get a guy to just do a quick little cover of it no so it's just uh the song playing and then some guy is talking for the voices they have so that's why uh the test pilot pitch uh doesn't have a lot of scenes cuz someone found the storyboards to that exact scene and he dubbed it uh, but there's a lot more to it. A lot about the mugger trying to uh, get Shrek. Uh, you're trying to mug Shrek, but then he starts taunting him a little, and Shrek's just taking it on until the mugger talks about his mom, and he gets he gets angry at it. So they're doing a bunch of random squash and stretch stuff. There's a point I think where Shrek uses him as a uh, as jump rope. Yeah, yeah, uses him as jump rope, but it's not in the test pitch because probably don't want to animate it yet so with that in mind i'm actually glad that no one is saying well where is chris farley's voice probably because he's not going to waste his time with it that's something i know so with if you watch some deleted scenes from movies it might be the actors in it but also might not be it really depends on how far in development the movie is but chris farley He didn't do it. And I know some people said that this Shrek is called like the scary Shrek. There is a reason why the movie didn't go further after the pitch. And I'm glad now we can see it. Why? It looks amazing. No, that's a lie. It looks bad. I'm not saying like, oh, because of the time, it looks bad. The... It's weird. So 
it was a motion capture suit for most of it. Most of Shrek's movies motion capture, but some of like the close up that's frame by frame animation. But uh, there there is a strong reason why the executives of DreamWorks said after they saw this clip, they said it looks scary. Change it, and I could probably make a video on it later if you guys want me to but we have this shrek now we have now found the test pitch and now all that is left of chris farley shrek is to actually get the entire work print that was made of shrek with chris farley's voice in it now see if it's like a work print uh there's probably going to be like deleted scenes still in it maybe some things don't work out Maybe some scenes may not have audio. Placeholder music, probably. Stuff a work print will have because it's not finished. That's just meant for executives. But, you know, all in all, all the videos I mentioned, I'm going to link down below. I hope you guys watch it. Please watch this video and uh, show this some, some support because, you know, something like this. I would have never believed would have actually happened that we finally find the full test pitch. But what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think this should have been found? Do you guys think this should have been made? Do you guys think this could have been a good Shrek movie based off uh, the test pitch? Tell me down below how I respond to you. And until next time, Tucker out.